Did dinosaurs turn into birds? Did dinosaurs evolve into birds? That's certainly widely believed today. In fact, uh, most evolutionists now classify the birds under the dinosauria. So you might say birds aren't extinct, or dinosaurs aren't extinct. Uh, they're feeding from our bird feeders even as we speak here. Uh, not all evolutionists are in agreement that dinosaurs evolved into birds. Alan Fiducia, for example, who's a very well-known evolutionist, uh, believes that uh, birds are ultimately related to uh, reptiles, uh, but he's not inclined to believe a lot of the current ideas of dinosaurs evolving into birds. There are several problems with this matter of dinosaurs evolving into birds. Uh, first, let's look at it from the Christian point of view. The Bible makes it pretty clear that birds were created on the fifth day of creation. The Bible says straight away God made every winged fowl of the air. And we know that all of these birds are not a single kind but several kinds because we see in the Levitical dietary laws that there were several kinds of birds that would have reproduced after their own kind. Uh, Land-dwelling animals were created on the sixth day. That would include the dinosaurs. Uh, the reason it includes the dinosaurs is it may surprise some people, but virtually all dinosaurs are classified as land-dwelling uh, creatures. The flying reptiles, like the pterodactyls, are not considered dinosaurs. The aquatic reptiles, like the pleosaurs and plesiosaurs, are not considered dinosaurs. All dinosaurs are terrestrial, so they would have been a sixth day creation. From a scientific point of view, I think the evidence is not compelling that uh, birds came from uh, uh, dinosaurs. Uh, there's several reasons for this. First of all, of course, dinosaurs are reptiles, although you might wonder whether that's even considered to be true nowadays. Uh, many evolutionists prefer to think of dinosaurs as warm-blooded creatures. There's no compelling evidence that they were warm-blooded. Uh, but some of the major differences between birds and dinosaurs are not in the bones, but in the soft tissue of the body, which of course is usually not preserved. For example, uh, the reptile lung uh, is quite different from the bird lung. Uh, birds have a lung which, as far as we know, is not found in uh, any other creature. It's a kind of a through-flow ventilation system where the air goes in uh, through the trachea, uh, but then exits from several positions in the lung to go out into air bags that are under the skin and sandwiched between the muscles. We see nothing like this uh, in uh, uh, reptiles. Uh, recently, fossils were found uh, of a dinosaur in which the soft tissue of the lung was reasonably well preserved, not as soft tissue, but of course mineralized. Uh, this appeared to be very much like a alligator lung, not like a bird lung. So the respiration is quite different and to turn a, a reptile into a bird would require a really radical difference in the whole respiratory system. Uh, there are other differences as well. Uh, both dinosaurs and birds, uh, at least most of them, have three fingers. Uh, that seems to look similar, except that uh, it's been shown that in the case of the dinosaurs, uh, the three fingers correspond to finger one, two, and three. That would be the thumb, forefinger, and next finger. In the case of birds, the fingers correspond to fingers two, three, and four. So uh, all, almost all uh, vertebrates that uh, walk on four limbs or fly uh, develop in the embryo with five fingers, but uh, here we see uh, the five fingers being reduced to three, and uh, different fingers are used in the dinosaur and the uh, bird, which would suggest they're not related. I think my most compelling evidence that dinosaurs did not evolve into birds is the whole problem of turning a reptile scale into a feather. Uh, these are very different biological structures. Even though both uh, are appendages of the skin and both contain keratins, uh, they are developmentally and every other way very different. Uh, a scale uh, is sort of like a fold in the skin, and several scales are one fold after another. That's why scales are shed as a sheet from reptiles. But feathers are shed in matched pairs, in the case of birds. Uh, birds do not shed their whole skin the way reptiles do. 
so that developmentally the structures are different and of course under the microscope it's hard to imagine something uh, that differs more than the structure of a reptile scale on a feather.